What's so special about Isaiah 53? Or to be more precise, about Isaiah 52, verse 13 till 53, verse 12. What's so special about that passage? Well, it's at the core, at the heart of Isaiah's message of consolation. It's the heart of the message that started in chapter 40 of the book of Isaiah. Comfort, comfort my people. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem. Isaiah prophesied that, that God himself would come and intervene in a special way on behalf of Jerusalem for the redemption of his people. We read it in, in chapter 40. Behold, the Lord God comes with, with might and his arm will rule. And again in chapter 52, the Lord has bared his arm. God is intervening. But in Isaiah 53, it turns out that this coming of God, this special intervention of God, it's, it's almost unbelievable the way it happens. We read it. Who has, who has believed what we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Why is that? Because God, because God comes and intervenes while coming as a, as a man who was despised and rejected, who, who even dies a violent death. What's so special about Isaiah 53 is that this righteous one is willing to give himself into, into this suffering, into this death. What's so special about Isaiah 53 is, is that the death of this righteous one atones. This man who, who embodies God's arm, he gives himself as, as a sacrifice for our sins. What's so special about Isaiah 53 is that this man not only dies, but also lives again. We read it after, that after his death, he will prolong his days. And not only that, he will also be, be highly exalted. And not only that, he will make many people righteous bring them into a right relationship with, with God. And those people, they will, they will share in the victory of this righteous one. What's so special about Isaiah 53 is that this prophecy was fulfilled. About 700 years later, in the person of Yeshua, of Jesus, the Messiah. He died for our sins and was, was pierced for our transgressions. And not only that, he also rose again on the third day. And he's now sitting at the right hand of God. Just as David already prophesied in the Psalms, the Lord has said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. What's so special about Isaiah 53 is that, that it's the future confession of the people of Israel. In that day when, as God himself said, they will look on me whom they pierced. In that day, the confession of Isaiah 53 will be the confession of all of Israel. You know what's so special about Isaiah 53? That it can even be your confession now already. As we read it. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed 
for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement, the punishment that brought us peace. And with his stripes, we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. This confession is the gateway to true shalom.